This is the Rich Dad Radio Show. The good news and bad news about money. Here's Robert Kiyosaki. Hello, 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 Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show, the good news and bad news about taxes. It's that time of year again. Ah, taxes. We're getting to taxes. <laughs> they're going to print more money and they're going to raise taxes. So if you're sitting there fat, dumb, and happy, and you're just happy with your, I don't know what you guys, what employees do anymore, but I think they already sucked that out of your wallet a long time ago. I mean, our taxes are gone. So this is a very important show. It'll be a four part series. I don't know which part this will come up on, but in my opinion, given the state of the economy in 2021, you better pay attention to taxes. And next year, hopefully in 2022, you might do something different. Any comments, Kim? Yeah, well, with all the changes coming on, um, taxes are a big issue. And taxes are something people, they don't want to talk about. They just ignore <laughs> it and say, hopefully it'll go away. Well, it's not going away. And I was talking to somebody just the other day, and he's a business owner. And he said, I said, well, you know, your taxes are going to go up. He goes, I, I'm okay paying more taxes in, for my business. And I'm like, well, you're crazy then. But not just business taxes. You got income taxes, you got property taxes, you got minimum wage going up, you got every, all sorts of taxes going up and they're just going to keep taking and keep taking. So it's really, really important, I think, that we understand what the heck is coming down the pipeline. So I want to repeat the words of probably one of our greatest leaders of all times. It was during the 2016 presidential election campaign and it was Hillary versus the Donald. And Hillary accuses the Donald of not paying taxes. And I didn't remember these immortal words. They will go down in history. They should be on his tombstone. And he said, that's because I'm smart. And that's the truth. And so the reason for these radio shows is hopefully you'll get smarter before boring Byron, Biden and comrade Kamala stick the Hoover in your pocket and suck it all out because well, we have a new tax coming on that's going to make the rich even richer. It's called a carbon tax. It's the green new deal. And the average person goes, Hey, what's that? What's a carbon tax? Now it's going to make for most people poorer, but it'll make certain people richer. And, and I think that's the whole point is there's taxes that can make, can benefit you and taxes that are going to decimate you. You got to know the difference. It's like an asset versus a liability. If you start calling li assets or liabilities assets, you're in trouble. So, so this is the Rich Dad radio program. It's all about our favorite subject. It's called taxes and how I do my very, very, very best. And Kim does her very, very best to not pay them. You know legally. I mean? legally, 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 legally. Because I remember the first one of the first paychecks I got, I said, geez, <laughs> what happened to my money? You know, and it, it what's, went back. What's FICA? What's, who's FICA? Who's yeah. FICA? <laughs> and, 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 and they, Americans who seemed to forgot there was an event that happened in 1773 called the Boston Tea Party. And it was a tax revolt against Mother England. And ever since then, America has been very much, pretty much tax free up until 1943 when they couldn't pay for World War II. It was a current tax payment act. So my point here is, I guess I want to repeat the words of our immortal great leader. I know some of you hate him with all your heart, Donald Trump. The reason he doesn't pay taxes is because I'm smart. That means I'm smart. So if you want to get smarter, this is your show. If you want to hate Trump, keep paying taxes, give your money to Biden and Kamala and have a good life. So with that, I want to invite, invite uh, Tom Wheelwright. He is our tax advisor, the author of Tax-Free Wealth. And he is, in my experience, a god. I mean, this guy has made me more money simply because I haven't had to pay taxes. Or Kim and I haven't had to pay taxes. And then we have Garrett Sutton and he's essential because he's our corporation's attorney or as it's called entities. And the reason you have to have an accountant and an attorney is because that's what people do who are smart. Okay, with that said, so we have Garrett Sutton and Tom, they'll be talking about taxes. 
what's going to happen in 2021, why you need your own corporation, an LLC or an S, because I don't know anything about that. Garrett does. That's a special And Garrett, Garrett, Garrett has a couple of books called Own Your Own Corporation and Start Your Own Corporation. Yeah. So let's get on to the most popular subject of 2021, raising taxes. Tom, any comments? I mean, <laughs> give, give us a quick background of, of your background when it comes to taxes and uh, what qualifies you. The, the board from now on is qualified. What qualifies you to speak about taxes? Well, uh, I, I started with a um, bachelor's in accounting from the University of Utah. Um, then I went and got a master's of professional accounting with an emphasis in tax from the uh, University of Texas in Austin. I spent seven years with one of the largest CPA firms in the world, Ernst & Young, including three years in their national office back when uh, Re uh, Reagan had his big tax bill. I spent 25 years uh, buying uh uh, building and selling CPA firms, spent 14 years as an adjunct professor in the Masters of Tax program at Arizona State University, and uh, as uh, Robert and Kim, the last 10, 12 years, spending a lot of time traveling around the world talking about taxes. So um, this world. is my study, is, is, is taxes. And, you know, you, don't, you left somebody out, uh, Janet Yellen, because she also wants to raise taxes. And she's actually brought in people to raise taxes specifically. So um, you talk about the carbon tax. That's a Janet, Janet Yellen tax. That's a, it's an interesting one. Yeah, that's exciting because I'm going to make so much money on this tar carbon tax. It's fabulous. Okay, Mr. Sutton, give us your background. Well, I went to two schools that you really like, Robert. I went to the University of California at Berkeley. That's right? even worse. <laughs> then I went across the bay to Hastings Law School in San Francisco, and Kamala was there a couple of years after I was. Uh, and, you know, I moved up to Nevada, and Nevada is a great place to set up a corporation like Wyoming. And, Robert, I think talking about corporations now is very timely because there's going to be a lot more litigation. The courts are just starting to open up. And we're going to see a huge increase in litigation here. So it's time to think about not only having your entity, your corporation and LLC in place, but maintaining it. You've got to maintain it over a period of time to stay protected. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Gary, you're going down the road a little too quickly here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's a correlation. You got to keep it simple. There's a correlation between taxes and entities. I was going to say, Garrett, you forgot the best part of Nevada, and that's Nevada doesn't have income tax. That's the best yeah, part. Oh, you left California and went to Nevada. And another point I want to make is, is we have Garrett and we have Tom on the show because Tom and Garrett are always talking to, get to each other. They're talking to each other yeah. about our tax situation, our entity situation, but they talk together and most attorneys and accountants don't talk. And that's part of the problem. Yeah. And Garrett and Tom and I have traveled all over the world talking about taxes and corporations. But the, unfortunately, the average person cannot do anything about it because they went to effing school. They got a job or they became a doctor or a lawyer. So this here is my new flip chart since we're now on Zoom time. But this is the cash flow quadrant, book number two, E, S, B, and I. E stands for employee. S stands for small business or specialist like a doctor, lawyer, or accountant. B stands for big business, 500 employees or more, or a brand, which does a brand. And I stands for inside investor. There's a very big difference. These guys invest from the outside, but they invest from the inside. And the tax rates, and Tom will verify this, are basically the same all over the world. In Russia, and America, I don't know about Havana, but anyway, there's 40% for employees, approximately 60% for small business or specialists like doctors or lawyers or small entrepreneurs. And this is 20% for the big guys. That's why Trump can say, because I'm smart. And I stands for zero, which is why Trump says, I'm smart. I wanna be very clear on this. You have to qualify to get here. Just like if I wanted to play in the mattress golf tournament, I'd have to qualify. Tiger Woods has to qualify every year. It used to be you go, he had to go to a bank to qualify for a loan. Today, they just give it to you, thanks to Janet Yellen. But that's a whole nother story. So these are the four things. I'll be very clear on this because just don't think you can go out and do this. We do not recommend it because you'll go off to jail in handcuffs unless you're a Democrat, they'll leave you alone. But if you're a Republican, they'll put you in jail for not paying taxes. But Democrats, that's fine. But to your point, too, is the ES side, that's your, that's your, your poor dad. That's where yeah. your poor dad was. And the BI side is where the rich dad 
where Rich Dad is. And so part of our whole philosophy of the Rich Dad company is to move from the E and the S side, the left side of the quadrant to the right side of the quadrant. But you have to do something and 99% of the people go, oh yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah, but they don't, but they don't do, do anything. As uh, B- Buckminster Fuller guys in Vincent, just gives us don't says, everybody knows a lot. They just don't do anything. They sit there and get their pockets picked. So there's two things, reason Garrett and Tom, accountant and attorney are important to this. Garrett's specialty is corporate law. And you gotta protect yourself one from taxes and number two from lawsuits. And as the economy worsens, worsens, if you have money, they see lawsuit. You know, all over Phoenix, I don't know about the rest of the country, but I see this big signs, you know, in a wreck, we'll give you a check. You know, Learner and Rue, the place to go. And they're just saying, have you been injured? Are you a victim? Are you a victim? Are you a victim? It's a victim society. So not only do you have to worry about the government, you have to worry about your next door neighbor who's going to sue you when they trip over your sidewalk. So with that said, that's why you must have, if you're going to play on the B and the I side, you need both an accountant and an attorney. That's the difference. And 99% of the people will just bitch about taxes. And when they get sued, they say, oh, the rich are screwing us and all that stuff. So with that said, Garrett, give us a few minutes on why you think litigation is going to go up, lawsuits. Well, Robert, litigation has always gone up, but it it accelerates during periods of trouble. Uh, You know, we've just we're starting to come out of this pandemic, but the courts have been closed. We've had the government telling people they don't have to pay rent. We have the government, uh, you know, taking care of people. But now the the landlords are going to start suing again for people who aren't paying the rent. You have business owners who may have had problems during uh, the pandemic, and they're going to start suing. The courts have been closed Uh, here in Reno. The courts have been closed for a year. And uh, so that litigation is starting to build up and attorneys are bringing more and more cases now. But, so but, it, but, it, but more than that, Garrett, is, is if you're rich, like you own apartment houses, the reason, you know, you are my Kim and I wake up call. We had one of our tenants because we have hundreds of with, back then was only in the hundreds of apartments. One of our tenants knocked on our door. We didn't, I don't know who the guy was. He knew who I was. Yeah, it was scary. He knew who we were because he just went to the records and he checked in on our property. And he says, I tripped on your sidewalk. I went, oh, my God. So you need uh, protection in that case. If you have real estate in your own name, it's time right now to consider putting it into an LLC. If you operate a business as a sole proprietor, As Robert says, people are looking for enterprises to sue. And if you do that work in your individual name, they can reach everything you own. So it's time right now during this crisis period to get with an attorney and talk about setting up an LLC or a corporation for your protection because litigation is on the rise. That's a good point because most people, they have everything in their name. They're, They're proud to have everything in their name. My house is in my name. My cars are in my name. My business is in my name. And as you said, you get sued for anything and they can come after everything. So yeah, on top, your, house, on top, your bank account, everything. So Karen. on top of that, Kim, the, the reason that the S quadrant has such a high tax rate is because those people don't use entities the way Garrett's talking about. So this is why, like you're talking about, Kim, Garrett and I talk because the entities for the legal side have an impact on the tax side. And so if you're in the S quadrant and you don't have an entity, you're gonna pay the highest tax possible. If you do, you can have the same tax rate as the big business. You have to qualify by getting the education and the advisors. Yeah, on this side. Yep. So you can still be this, but act like this late right. and tax wise. And That's not right. only do you have to be qualified, you said, Tom, your advisors need to be qualified because for Robert and I, when we started out, we didn't have an accountant, we didn't have an attorney. And then as, as we got more and more sophisticated, we needed higher levels of accountants and attorneys. So as you get more sophisticated, you get more knowledgeable, your advisors have to be more knowledgeable as well. Okay, so there's two types of things got to worry about. Number one is your next door neighbor putting their hand in your pocket. And the other side is Kamala and Biden putting their hands in your pocket and yelling. 
because it's coming. So, Tom, how do how does a, how do you, when you talk to people about minimizing taxes legally, how does a corporation, what Garrett says, come into play with the government? You know, about fifty uh, percent of the tax benefits you get um, if you're a business owner or an investor come from the type of entity you use. So whether it's an LLC and, and different entities are used for different purposes. I mean, we use a different entity for real estate than we use for a business. Um, you know, some people want to be a, a, a corporation. Some people want to be an LC. Some people want to be a limited partnership, but these all work together. This is why I think the major qualification is education, right? Because if you don't understand how these work together, Garrett and I have seen advisors talk about getting better advisors, Kim. Garrett and I, <laughs> I know you remember this, Garrett. We remember advisors coming and suggesting this, these entities for people. And we're going, this looks like malpractice to us. I mean, this is just, this is going to raise your taxes and not going to give you the asset protection. And so you really have to have the advisors working together and you need to know what you're doing as well. Yeah. And the name, the name of the game is, are they qualified? Let me say it again. Tiger Woods is the greatest golfer I ever lived. He still has to qualify to play in the masters. Do, do you know what I mean? And most people just want to go out there and play the masters. And then and they wonder why they get their butts kicked. They wonder why they get turned down. Then they say it's racism or your discrimination. No, you haven't qualified, idiot. So that's why at Rich Dad, we strongly suggest you legally qualify, but also work only with qualified advisors. So we come back, we'll be going more into how hopefully by 2022, I won't be having this conversation with you because you'll be saying, oh, good. I'm making more money, but I'm paying less taxes and people can't sue me. We'll be right back with the second part of the Rich Dad Radio Show. Welcome back, Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show, the good news and bad news about money. Uh, you can listen to the Rich Dad Radio program anytime, anywhere on Android, YouTube, and uh, whatever. If we, as, long as, we, as long as we don't get demonetized or taken <laughs> off for saying criminal, like criminal words here. But I want you to know our advice is backed up by two professionals, dear friends for th not thousands here, but hundreds. Tens of years right now. We go back many lifetimes. <laughs> look, you got, you got to play the game with professionals. Don't play with amateurs. You know, we're talking about not paying taxes and making millions of dollars legally, 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 legally. You know, you can cheat the system, but you'll just go to jail and become somebody's boyfriend. So you don't want to do that. You know, oh, unless you're a Democrat, of course, you get. Or, or, the, or the people that want to pay high taxes and don't question it. Because, oh, what if the IRS, what if the IRS comes after me? Oh my yeah. God, the IRS comes after me. And you can listen to this podcast again at richdadradio.com. And the reason we archive all our podcasts is so you can listen to it again, because this is a very big subject, taxes. Big, big subject. It's, this is a one in four part series on taxes because April is coming in America. One of the ads of, ads of March, but April is coming for taxes. And if you're gonna, if you pay taxes, you're an idiot. You've done something wrong. I know some of you hate Trump and some of you love Biden and all this. It doesn't make any difference. It has nothing to do with Trump or Biden. If you're an idiot, you'll pay taxes. And the more money you make, because they're gonna give you a pay raise, you'll pay more taxes. So that's why our guests today are the Rich Dad Advisors, Tom Wheelwright, author of the book, Tax-Free Wealth, and Garrett Sutton, owner of your own, corp own your own corporation. And if you're going to play the game on this side, I don't care if you like Biden and Kamala, you know, but I'd rather play the game on this side because Biden and Kamala are coming after your money and they're going to sue you more because both are attorneys. They're going to go to litigation like we've never seen. So you've got to be much smarter. So Tom, what do you want to say about taxes and what people can do to minimize them? Because that's what that's what they want to hear. They don't they want to hear about anything else. Yeah, so. and what's and what's coming down the road with well, under this it, administration? You know, going to your point about you know their ta like the carbon tax is that remember that the tax law is a series of incentives. You know, it's just a bunch of stimulus packages rolled up into tax incentives. Uh, the CARES Act was tax incentives. This last one had this last bill had tax incentives. The next one. Yeah, all that money that they're doling out, those are tax credits. So you just have to understand that the government does everything, everything that they want to encourage, they do with tax incentives. And so all you have to do is 
find out what they want you to do, go do it, and you don't pay tax. That, frankly, if you look at, at uh, Trump and uh, his, you know, he, he earned, what, $400 million on The Apprentice and then gets a $70 million refund in taxes. Well, why was that? Because he did what the government wanted. He took the money from The Apprentice and put it into real estate. That means I'm smart. <laughs> but he did. <laughs> but, you know, Biden gets his money the old-fashioned way. <laughs> <laughs> so did the Clinton, so did Obama. But we're not we're not political here. We're just kind of telling it as we know it. So Tom, what are what are some of the are there new stim are new incentives? Where's what are some of the incentives people can take advantage of? Well, I mean, the, the biggest incentives right now are still real estate. OK, uh, and business, business and real estate are the two big incentives. Um, what's coming down the road is the is the is the, you know, the the Green New Deal, the the clean energy, um, all of that stuff. I, mean, I love her. Those are all going to be those are all going to come via tax credits, tax incentives. Um, we already have an extension. For example, if you put in charging stations, you get a tax credit. If you buy a, uh, if you put on solar panels, you get tax credits. There's lots of, I mean, there's lots of energy uh, tax benefits out there. Oh, I think the biggest benefit of all, what happens if you buy your own personal jet? Is there a tax credit for that? They, they, there can be. Oh, no, we're only kidding. We're only kidding. I'm, I'm just trying there to make can, a point here, you guys. Be. I'm just can. trying to make a point here, you guys. There's a different world out here. Right. All of you A students went here. E's and S's. Oh, I got a high paying job. I'm a doctor, a lawyer, an accountant. And this is where Trump hangs out. This is Obama, Clinton, and Biden. And this is Trump. And that's the difference. That's why he says, that means I'm smart. So I know some of you hate him, and that's fine. I understand why you hate him. But if you love paying taxes, just stay on this side. Yeah, Robert, I, I agree that uh, all we're talking about are incentives. The government incentivizes people to set up corporations and LLCs. Every state has an LLC law. You'll talk to some people and say, well, I don't think I should use an LLC. That's like hiding assets. No, it's not. <laughs> it's protecting yourself. Every state allows for it. They don't teach yeah, you Garrett, Garrett, cool. aren't, aren't there some states that are better than others too? Yes, there are. Yes. Nevada, Wyoming, and Delaware compete to be the best states. Because so, they want you know, business owners in their states, right? No, well, they, they collect the fees. So, you know, it's a good source of income for those yep. three states. Yep. But all states offer these incentives to protect yourself because governments know they're not going to teach you this in school, but they know that business people need to be protected when they're taking risk. And so this is there's nothing improper about it. You just know, have to know how to use it. But you also have to know where not to incorporate. I mean, we <laughs> personally knew early on we were not going to incorporate in California because of all the taxes. That's right. right. Is that right? Yeah. So, so, so my son just started a business. He, he lives in um, Oakland, California. Oh. And, he's, and, and he's, he's like railing against California. I can't believe they tax me just because I'm here. I didn't even make any money and they tax me. I'm going, that is California. They yeah. tax wherever they possibly can. They're, they go after people that they, I think legitimately they have no business taxing and they'll, they'll still tax them. So yeah. yeah, there are, there are, there are good States. I mean, there are actually a a lot of good states, not just Nevada, Wyoming. I mean, you know, Florida doesn't have a personal income tax. Texas doesn't have an income tax. Arizona has actually good good uh, entity laws. Their income tax seems to be going up, but they have good entity laws. So it really does make a difference where you where you set up that entity. Yeah, and, and and you don't have to live where you set up your entity. Right? Uh, that- you, you, you don't. Now Garrett? you'll you'll that, still well. be. You, you still may have to, Garrett can talk about registering to do business. You'll still be taxed on your income Correct. that you earn in that state. Right. Okay. Um, unless, unless, for example, it's like um, uh, income from interest and dividends that you can actually get out of a state, even though you live in the state. So it's actually possible to, I mean, state taxes is something people don't talk about, but they're becoming more and more important as the, the states continue to do a money grab for tax revenue. And, and the teachers don't get the money anyway. No. Do, do you know what I mean? If people knew, oh, I was at some supermarket and they said, would you mind donating to the teachers? I said, yes, I would mind. They don't get enough of my money, you know? So 
I'm not, I'm, I'm probably going to be demonetized and deplatformed now for saying all this because I'm not against school teachers. I'm against paying taxes. And then we want to educate people on how to pay taxes, not pay taxes legally, like former President Donald Trump. Garrett, what do, you, what do you have to say about the combination of protecting yourself from lawsuits, but as well as from the government? Well, first of all, you want to protect yourself from lawsuits. We're a hugely litigious society. But you also want to protect yourself from the government if possible. Now, you know, the IRS has some rules that they can go right through your corporation. You know, you can't, you can't really protect yourself in, in some certain cases from the IRS. Uh, but you still, in terms of private litigation, you need a corporation or an LLC because that for me is the biggest risk. Uh, you need insurance as the first line of defense, and then you need these entities as a second line of defense. Because again, people are suing all the time. And it's going to get worse. I mean, would you say that's going to happen? Yeah, it is going to get worse. Yeah. Um, the courts haven't even opened up yet. We don't know how bad it's going to be, but it's coming. So let's say I'm Mr. and Mrs. Joe Average. I have a house and a car and they have a job and they have a W-2. Can you help them at all as an attorney? Well, uh, you're going to have insurance, certainly, and you're going to look at protecting the equity in your house with a homestead. Uh, some states are good, some states are bad. But then if you have a lot of equity in your house, you're going to use an LLC. If you're a W-2 employee, there's not much I can do for you. And that's and those are for outside, that's this person here, the employee. Go to school and get a job, you know, and you'll be safe. What a bad piece of advice that is. And over here, if you're really smart, become a doctor or a lawyer. What happens with doctors and lawyers if they're not smart when it comes to taxes, Tom? Oh, they get hammered. <laughs> they, they, they just get hammered. And, and they get hammered more and more. You know, there was a, in, in Trump's tax bill, even Trump's tax bill hammers doctors and lawyers. So <laughs> there, there are all sorts of benefits for everybody else. But doctors, lawyers, like and lawyer. accountants got, got absolutely hammered. So let me, let me ask you this. So S stands for small business too. So a lot of these guys here, I'm out here every day now. Oh, guess what? I'm going to start my own business. Immediately they're moving here and they're moving into Garrett's crosshairs or the, the people that Garrett's going to protect you from. Is that correct, Garrett? You start That's a small correct. business, you're, right. you're in trouble. As a W-2 employee, that your employer typically protects you unless you do want and willful acts. But as a small business owner, you're going to be sued personally if you're operating in your individual name. You've got at that point to set up a corporation or an LLC for protection. Yeah. I, I see, I hear so many people say, oh yes, I just started my own business. You know, I'm small yet right now. now, now. Tom, what, what's going to happen to them tax-wise? Uh, well, it, it, again, unless they set up that corporation, LLC, they're going to get hammered. The, the good news is, um, to your point, Kim, there are incentives there. And, and the small business can also be at that 20% tax rate. You can do that. You can actually be at 20% while you own your company and zero when you sell it. So there are lots of incentives for the business owners and the small business as well. It's just that very few small businesses actually understand that or have advisors that understand it. Right. And the reason we have Tom and Garrett on is we don't necessarily, we're not necessarily, you know, we don't, rec we don't make recommendations what to buy, sell and all this, but all of our advisors have their own books and we recommend buying, you know, Garrett's books and Tom's books because it's cheaper than hiring them. And Tom's so, book is so, called Tax Free Wealth. And one of the things in your book, Tom, that I love is you actually have questions that people can ask uh, when they're looking for a good uh, CPA accountant, questions that they should be asking and Garrett, your, your book is Start Your Own Corporation and Own Your Own Corporation. Same thing. Great, great, Same great thing. advice. Because reading these books, you're going to be able to talk to your advisor instead of them charging you to explain everything. Uh, you're on second base already because you've read the book. You understand some of the concepts. Yeah, and it's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot cheaper than hiring them and then asking stupid and then finding questions. Out. Right. Yeah. Right. Final words there, Tom. Well, you know, uh, taxes are going up. Um, unless uh, you're smart and you get educated and get the right advisors and get qualified, and then taxes are going down. And I think taxes are going down further and further for those who um, really understand the incentives that are coming. Yeah. And the other thing, too, is that this guy says, should I buy real estate to avoid taxes? I said, don't you ever do that. 
That is the most stupid thing you can do. That's what being qualified means. You don't like, ever do things to to avoid taxes. You got, you know, I I've taken real estate courses. I'm I've taken them since I was in the twenties, and that's why I understand real estate. Well, Kim has managed thousands of properties. She understands real estate, but you don't just buy real estate to avoid taxes. No. Is that correct, Tom? No, uh, you don't buy anything to avoid taxes. I can't tell you how many people will tell me, well, my accountant said I need to buy a, a Hummer uh, by the end of the year to avoid taxes. I'm going, so do you need the Hummer? No. So you're going to, so basically you're going to give up a hundred thousand dollars to save $30,000. That makes no sense. Same with real estate. Why would you get into something you don't understand? Why don't you look at the investment first and the tax consequences second? So, Garrett, do you have an entity for personal stupidity? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, oh, Robert. But Garrett, that's called an estate. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we do have people who uh, just won't listen. I mean, they're, in, they're insistent that they're never going to be sued. And then when they call me and they go, oh, yeah, I did get sued, then it's too late. So that is personal stupidity. Yeah, you can't buy car insurance after you've had the wreck. Right. Right. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, this is part this is part one of taxes. And uh, what's coming up are real estate and debt and taxes. And then for all of you guys out there with 401ks, we'll be praying for you tonight. We'll be lighting candles and praying for you, or you stock traders will be praying for you because you're just paying huge taxes unless you're smart. And the third category is gold, silver, and Bitcoin. So stay tuned, this is, this is one of the four in our series from Rich Dad, how to pay less taxes and still make more money and do it legally. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Garrett. Thanks. Thank you, Tom. Thanks. And so we come back, we'll be going to the final word with Sarah. We'll be right back. Welcome back, Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show, the good news and bad news about money. And please remember, we're talking about a very touchy subject. It's called debt taxes and liabilities. You, you will be sued more. They're going to raise our taxes and the rich won't pay anything more. But if you went to school and you got a job and you're working harder, you're a doctor and lawyer, your taxes are going up and so are your liabilities. So with that, any comments, Kim? Yeah, this was, a, this was a really great discussion and something that I think people have got to pay attention to. And I just want to make another point is many of our, much of our conversation was about the U.S., U.S. centric, all of this, but the, Rules generally for taxes and corporations are the same throughout the world. The, the tax rates are the same too. Yeah, they are. So what they're saying is not just U.S. by any means. There's details that are different, but the general principles are the same. And the states are different. Yeah. You know, like the Wyoming and there's Delaware and Florida and Arizona was a pretty much tax-free state, but the communists got a hold of this state. Yeah, we'll see what happens. School there. teachers. Yep. Anyway, but I but to your and and I love you know whenever we travel all over the world, people say, oh well, you can do that where you are, but we you can't do that here. You can't do that with taxes here. You can't do that with corporations here. Well, yes, you can. And the good thing about traveling all over the world with Tom and Garrett, they're A students. They're really good readers, and before they go into any country, they read the laws, and so when they stand up there, they quote the laws. And no, even when they do that, you know, if a person is so lazy, they don't want to change. Well, don't just don't tell me. You can't do it here, but you can. But you're just so effing lazy. It's yeah. easier to keep doing the same thing. Sarah, any comments? Just to your point, I think I think people misunderstand. It's not that you can't do it here. You can't do it if you're an employee. And so they don't understand, well, how come I can't get a tax break? Well, because you're an employee. These are only for, you know, for the... Actually, they could, but they'd have to do something different. They could start. They could be an employee, start a part-time business, Correct. and then they could get some benefits. Right, yeah. right. They're not understanding it. these are for businesses and investors. No, the real reason is they're lazy. I mean, trust, trust me. You know how many years I've been t talking to a lot of people here, and most people are, I'm, I'm lazy. I'm the laziest guy I know, and it's hard to change. That's why we have advisors. <laughs> they do all, the hard, they well, do that's, all the hard work for us. Well, that's why we have coaches, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. mentors, coaches. I, yes. I go to the gym because I know what to do. <laughs> I just won't do it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that's why I have health coaches, physical coaches, this coach, because I'm not going to do it. So we have Rich Dad Coaching for those of you who know you need to be coached. You need to be pushed a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I have Dr. Nicole, man. She is... Uh, rough on me about my 
addiction to Chinese food and vodka <laughs> and lack of exercise. <laughs> you know, so that's why I give her the big bucks is because my health is important. So if your wealth is important, you know, get Tom's book and Garrett's book and read a little bit and then maybe you'll start to change your, the way, you, how much money you can make and how much tax you can avoid legally. The whole point here is do it legally. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for listening to the Rich Dad Radio Show. Thank you.